How you doing? I'm doing great. Getting ready to climb the first pitch of the Durance route on the Devil's Tower. Going down, panning down now to your belayer, Jenny. How you doing, Jenny? Super. Okay. Brian, how you doing? I'm doing great. It's a okay. good day to be on the rock. here we're looking for the mysterious big horned helmeted hobo head oh here it is right now coming around the corner after just having stashed our gear it's a rare species rarely seen in these parts but he's on his way up okay making a big comeback okay how you doing excellent beautiful day it is a beautiful day that's look where we are Crack all the way up to the top of Wiesner's Crack, zooming back around to Scott's Crack. church last Sunday so I could sing and pray but something quite unusual happened on that day the church it started right on time just to, like it does without a doubt and everything was all just fine except when it came time to let us out you know the preacher he kept preaching he told us i have one more thing to say children before you think of leave yay everybody's up okay gretchen you made it to the top of devil's tower let's hear your best monkey <laughs> Wanna banana? He said, now I remind you, if I may, you all better pay attention. Or I might decide to preach all day. Everyone was getting so hungry. Scott Caston, Dave Thacker, you just made it to the hey. top of Devil's Tower for the sixth, seventh time. Sixth time for me. Fourth time for Scott. How does it feel? That and the person I'm belaying right now just fell <laughs> is um he's been on the tower 14 times 
Go, Rossi, go. <laughs> That's, that's good to catch on. <laughs> Got a fish on. Praise the Lord, I have a plan. And the preacher, he kept preaching. Long is the struggle, hard to find. Now pray, Father, please. We're now going to do a little monkey cam. Scott, give me your best monkey. Ooh. Dave, you're a little bit busy belaying, so uh, you could do your monkey voice. <laughs> I don't think I have a monkey voice. Let's hear the ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> No, don't get that. Here's Dave belaying up Gretchen. So, Dave, what is your consensus? Can you see the ant over there on Kearney Peak? Is he waving at you? Well, I'm flicking off that damn ant. The preacher he stopped preaching, and a hush the church did fill. And then a, a great white dove from up above landed on the windowsill, and the dove flew down beside him. A fork appeared right in his hand. Everybody watching, the preacher ate that bird right there. And then now everyone got really nervous, and the preacher he did start to glow. And as we watched on in disbelief, these were the words he spoke. Send the mamas in the kitchen. Hey, Brian. Earlier we did our best um, monkey cam, so I need to hear your best monkey noise. And the moral of this story, the children, it is plain but true. God knows if a preacher preaches long enough, even he'll get hungry too, and he'll sing to the Lord that praises me. It's time for dinner now, let's go. Oh